Genesis 27 contains an Old Testament Bible story classic. Most have heard it and know it well. The story goes like this. Isaac, the son of Abraham, thinks he's gonna die and feels the need to bless his firstborn son before he does. Now Esau was the oldest, albeit just for a few minutes, beating his twin brother Jacob to the birth finish line so he would receive dad's blessing. So Isaac, he requests for Esau to go and hunt and bring him his favorite meal before he blesses him. Isaac's wife, Rebecca, hears of Isaac's request but favors the younger son for the blessing. She intervenes, cooks her husband's favorite meal, dresses Jacob in Esau's clothing along with other deceitful trickery, wonder where Jacob got his scheming from, and sent the younger son in to steal dad's blessing. And the plan worked. Isaac was fooled and gave Jacob the firstborn blessing that will form the banner over Israel forevermore. It reads this, Therefore may God give you all the dew of heaven, of the fatness of the earth, and plenty of grain and wine. Let people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be master over your brethren and let your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you and blessed be those who bless you. Meanwhile, Esau comes home with dad's meal only to find little bro ripped him off. Jacob, he gives Esau the second blessing, not as favorable as the first, and Esau vows to kill Jacob over it. Mom hears Esau's plan, sends Jacob to a distant relative. Uh, of course, there are colorful details that I left out from these 46 verses. Please read it. The focus is always upon Jacob when this passage is taught. But, but I want to draw your attention back to Isaac for a moment. There, there's an old saying that goes, don't count your chickens before they hatch. The idea is that 12 eggs doesn't necessarily mean that you'll have 12 chickens. So often we assume and presume what tomorrow has in store, but until tomorrow comes, we really haven't a clue. The proverb says, a man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Isaac planned for Esau to receive the blessing, but the Lord willed for Jacob. Isaac planned to be done with this whole patriarchal thing, but the Lord directed his steps differently. Isaac lived every day anticipating dying, but he will live for 20 more years after this blessing. He will outlive his conniving wife, Rebecca. But I wonder how much of life he missed while he was so busy dying. Many of us are so planning for tomorrow that we miss what the Lord is doing today. Today is the day that the Lord has made. May we be aware of it, absorb it, and live it for Christ. May we plan to, for tomorrow using all wisdom but leave it in the Lord's hands for change and redirection. May you know his peace, allow his plans to unfold and receive his many blessings. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.